brilliant uh, submission. And I also think that this whole idea of a deadline for SIM registration must be scrapped. Ghana is not going anywhere, neither the telecom uh, industry. So if you have this huge number of people who have already linked to their card, why don't you have, have find a smarter way of getting the other people who can access a registration center because of maybe a geographical restriction or because of their age or some kind of inconvenience that we can or even for, for the law, uh, lawyer's case, for example, I can register just a number, then use this as an index number, as in the, the index uh, uh, number, then you link all the other uh, devices that I have. I have about seven table nets that I use for my work, mm -hmm. right? So am I going to queue and register all the seven uh, table nets and then the four numbers, right? So if I register only one, all that you do is, do you have any additional uh, a phone number or SIM card that you can add it. So that mobile number becomes an index number. Then you link all the other uh, table nets or the services onto that one and becomes easier. So I can continue the process using an online portal or a short code to do that registration because you've already captured my bio data and other details using the index device. So me, it doesn't make sense to me that mm. We're worrying ourselves doing extensions, extensions, and all over the place. Let's get people to do this as and when they are available to do it. Telecommunication service is a, is a, is a tool of convenience, mm -hmm. which you don't sell with inconvenience. So I, I, I believe that the extension must be done. It should go beyond the January 2023 people are talking about. We all know that the Ghana card system wasn't designed with a deadline in place. They have a minimum number that they can even uh, what they call it, register in a day. Likewise, even the SIM registration. And you know you are using an, an internet portal or service. So even the telecom infrastructure cannot take all the traffic at a time. So you have a number of concurrent users. I'm sure the minister knows that. that a particular online resource can take at a time. So yesterday, for example, some of the short code, the 404 and the rest, were not working because of the traffic. <clears throat> Just like the same way when people go through to any of the telecom centers, they can't be served within a particular time period because the number of people they're serving them cannot manage the traffic. Mm. Now, the other thing is that you are using even the experience centers of most of the telecom companies. So the MTNs and the rest, they have their experience centers. I'm not sure government is paying them for using their workers to do SIM registration for government. Now, if MTN is building experience centers where their customers are, it means that the distribution of the experience centers will not even be even. It's not, it's not legally required that it should be in every district. Mm. So they will not be there. So I'm sure people will be moving from different places to the next available uh, customer experience centers to register their SIM cards. Tra 